In this video, we have the Losi Promoto MX on the workbench. I've recently converted it over to the XT90 plug, and now we're starting to look at full size versus shorty and what batteries actually fit in this thing because it is a very unique battery tray system that's not super flexible. So you got to get the right battery to fit in the hole, and that's what we're looking at here today. Yep. This motorcycle is truly a like technology marvel. They fit a lot of stuff in between those two vertical plates in there, which means there's not a lot of room for batteries. Uh, and Losi does have one or two batteries that they really do recommend that you get with this vehicle. Spectrum battery that Losi actually recommends that you use with this comes with the IC5 connector so that you can actually see the battery voltage via your controller. It's a nice feature but it's proprietary and it means that their battery is a little bit more expensive. So as an example, the 5,200 milliamp battery that they recommend comes with this is $50, $55, somewhere in there, depending on where you look to purchase it. Key though is two things. One, the size. So it's 138 long, 46 wide, 25 millimeters tall. And one of the most important things is that the plug wires come out on this edge of the case. So as an example, I have this Pavway here that I use occasionally in my vehicles, and I have this dynamite reaction. You can see how the wires come out on different sides of the battery. Why that is important is because when you go to put your battery in the vehicle, you can slide it in like this, and when you close that door, there is a spot right here where your wires are supposed to come out. Go this way and then plug into that battery. But here is what I'm finding. Just because the wires come out that side doesn't necessarily mean that they're quite long enough to actually plug in. This, this battery, as an example, even with the wires coming out this side, I can't... I bring it in here, I squeeze this up where it's supposed to go, and I am just like that much. I'm like this distance too short to get into where that plug is. It just doesn't quite work. So, so even though this is a nice cheap Pavway, does really well, ADC, the plugs coming out of the correct side, these leads are just a little bit too short for me to get there. So even though the dimensions are correct, the plug is right, it just doesn't make it. Similar issue when you look at some of the shorties that have a uh, fixed lead inside of them. Because again, as you may imagine, battery fits really easy. But now that lead is coming from way up here. By the time you come out, you're not anywhere close. You can try to pull the battery all the way here to the back cross that wire over, I'm still really, really short. So again, it might work if the leads are over here and the battery doesn't quite really want to go in backwards very well. It's not just as easy as, well, you ding dong, just turn the thing around and it'll go in. It might work, it might not. I can't actually get the whole thing shut. The other option is like I run this Genzace Redline. It's a 6000. I run this all the time in my drift car. Really, really high quality battery. I would love to be able to run it in here. Um, I use it, depending on the vehicle, I'll use it with these bullet plugs. So the bullet plugs come in, immediately there's your issue. I can put this in but it's not gonna even get close to shutting now is it like not even a chance they do offer some of the bullet plugs that are on the end here they actually do offer them at 90 degree angles so i could get another set of these make it at 90 degrees but even with that at 90 degrees batteries in are my charging cables going to be long enough to get across there they're not really so here is what I am proposing to do. I'm going to get these four millimeter 90 degree plugs. What I'm going to do is come in here and cut out a chunk of the side of this battery compartment. That way, once my batteries are in, I will have the ability to plug it in and have plenty of distance to run this wire over here. 
even though I may go that modification route in order to make all this fit, you may not want to do that. You may not be using XT90 plugs like I am. You may be using the IC5s, which the EC5s will also work with. And that means that you actually do have a wide range of batteries out there that you can choose. I started my search on A Main Hobbies, looking at 2S LiPos, because remember this vehicle is 2S limited only, and those with EC5 plugs. And the first that you see is Genzace 5300 single stick battery. I've always had really good luck with my Genzace batteries. This one's $46, so that little bit cheaper than the Spectrum battery saves you a little bit of money. High quality Genzace battery. They also offer their Basher series in a 5200 stick for $38. All of those interchangeable plugs, you should be able to get all of those to plug in. Leads look long enough and they're on the right side of the battery so that it goes in. But you may want something cheaper. So. If we continue to look and we jump over to Amazon, the kind of the home of cheap batteries, basically, a couple different options from Z, um, which I've had mixed luck with over the time, if I'm honest. There's a 5200 milliamp stick with EC5s on it for $36 for two of them. It's like $17 a battery, drastically cheaper, but it'll probably work pretty good still. And this motorcycle fits, everything is fine. Um, Ovonic, which is a brand that I have used and had really, really good luck with in the past, 5,200 milliamp, again, EC5 stick, $30 for two of them. That's 15 bucks a piece, drastically cheaper. And then I went and looked, a lot of people want runtime, and with the du dual motors in this thing and that flywheel spinning all the time, some people are a little bit concerned about runtime. So Z does offer a 8 thousand milliamp battery that somehow is actually still the same dimensions as all the other ones and that is $78 for two so I think that comes out to something like $38 a piece so still drastically cheaper than the spectrum and they're 8,000 milliamp batteries so unfortunately I don't have any of these that I can slap in there right now at the moment to test and to show you exactly how they fit and that all that as well but based on the dimensions and the pictures seeing where the wires come out of the battery and how long it appears the battery leads are I believe that all of these will fit since I would really like to be able to use my shorty packs in here, again, I've clearanced this section here. I'm going to create myself a little adapter, and I got these four millimeter low clearance bullets from uh, Ready. These are number 643. 4 by 14 millimeter bullets it just costs a couple dollars i'll leave a link down in the video description to them these are the kind that you can solder in at 90 degrees for the plugs and they create a high clearance so if i have this plug in then i can make it so my positive lead can go over here to the positive side of the shorty the negative over here to the negative i won't be able to mix and match them because the negative won't reach all the way over there so we're going to put those on that will then come up here everything will clear this will work just great here's what this looks like all created up you can see those bullet plugs just soldered right on there looks like that's going to work just a champ let me plug it in here and see how it does There we go, that looks just perfect. Check that out, nice and good, straight in there. It's gonna help hold the shorty in so it doesn't move very well. Shorty's actually towards the front, which should help with center mass of the whole bike. This is awesome. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions about what I did or how I did it, please leave them down in the comments below. So hey, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.